Shalom. Kahalayim la Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Kakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone as GMS. Peace and bless to the acumen of you Aguath across the four winds. Sure, so brother Bathamayim from Great Millstone used to come to you with a quick hit. Now, um, I had saw a fire down downtown area, and a brother posted this in the um in our group chat from Fox Twenty Six. Three firefighters injured in downtown Houston fire. Now, uh, the place that was burned up was like a little tamale, like taco shop. Now, it hasn't uh, been in use as a restaurant anymore. I guess they were bought out. And then behind it is a, a, a little strip to where there's the office buildings and I think a marine um, or a maritime museum. And then behind that, you really can't tell from the, um, this is a screenshot, but you can't tell behind that. The taller buildings is some newer apartments. They've only been around for about a couple of years. So I, I believe Esau Edom is uh, trying to, I guess, burn down so he can continue to gentrify the area. Because in this area here, they're constantly building up new apartments. And a lot of those three-story like townhouse buildings have been going up. And this is near... Where a lot of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans live, you know, Second Ward and Fifth Ward. So all throughout this area going into downtown, you know, this is a little bit nearer to, to downtown. And it's actually closer to like the DA office and the county jail and things like that. Hey, the Lord is, <laughs> has been uh, burning up a lot of area in, in Texas. But Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us. But we are not ignorant of his devices. So the word ignorant means to not know. But we know Esau Edom is burning down and, and, and destroying things so that he can build up these 15 minute cities. You know, those 15 minute cities are going to be closer to downtown. So if you acting up, hey, it's closer to, to send you to the county jail or, you know, they might have some underground holding cells. We, we never know what Esau Edom has under his, you know, his sleeves. But a hey, seeing that those fire fighters are injured, hey, you know, it could have been worse than that. Because from what I saw, you know, it was at least like twelve fighter fire trucks, um, you know, a handful of ambulance. You know, it was just constant, you know, road blockage. All you can see is fire and smoke coming from um, this small little tamale shop. But second, Edris chapter 16, verse four, a fire is sent among you and who may quench it. Those three that were injured, they couldn't quench it. Ultimately, you know, they got it to go out. But, hey, it took them a while. And this happened early morning Saturday, you know, when most people are asleep. You know, a lot of people, you know, used to getting up around that time between like 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. to go to work. But this was on a Saturday. But that, that fire, hey, it wasn't quenched at first, you know, didn't think that that many uh, fire trucks were needed for a small building. You know, we don't know what, what type of uh, fire it was or anything or how it even started. You know, they're not going to release those type of details to incriminate themselves because we know Esau Edom had something to do with the several claimed white men. Then the last precept I had was St. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. And this is red letter. So, Yahweh Shai. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? <laughs> the Lord keeps showing us, a hey, it's going to be more fire and more fire. You know, from the panhandle all the way down to South Texas. But ultimately, as uh, Elder Apostle Tahar called this place, it's going to be Big Maui. <laughs> Hey man, Babylon the Great, the <clears throat> Babylon the Great, the virgin daughter of Babylon, is gonna be that lake of fire, that lake of fire that the scriptures speak of. This place is gonna be burnt up by those thermonuclear missiles, and the Lord continues to show us little glimpses here and there, you know. But Esau Edom believed that his place is gonna continue forever, which is at, uh, Psalms forty nine eleven. You know, it's gonna continue to uh, to go on, but we know that this place is ultimately gonna be laid desolate, you know. Only desert-like creatures are going to dwell here. It's going to, not going to be inhabited anymore. Well, Lord willing, this quick hit was edifying to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. That's who salvation is for us, for you Israelites only. 
the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those Israelites, you know, that look like the other heathen nations whose spirit resonate with this truth, with the, with the truth of the scriptures, you know, this Bible. But call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash, double honest to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that's GMS. Peace and bless to the Akim and a few Akwath across the four winds. Shalom.